Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about pulse width modulation and how you can use pulse width modulation to control the brightness of an LED. In a future video, I'll show you how you can add pulse width modulation to your own code. Let's get started. Under Applications, we're going to go to Tools and then up to Signal Generator and then Pulse Width Modulator Generator. It's outputting on pin A7, which is connected to the top of the flipper, which connects to the anode side of my LED. 220 ohm resistor and then back into ground. We're at a thousand hertz, which means you turn on and off a thousand times in a second. I've connected my oscilloscope and we can see each pulse is one one thousandth of a second. On the oscilloscope, this bottom line is our ground. The top line is 3.3 volts. On the oscilloscope, we can see it jumps up to 3.3 volts for about half of the cycle and then it drops back down to ground for the other half of the cycle. We have a 50% duty cycle. So I'm gonna to go to pulse width. So now I'm gonna start decreasing the pulse width. You should notice the LED light isn't as bright. You'll also notice the pulse is only on for 16% of the time and the rest of the time it's off. I'm gonna zoom in one notch so we can see the pulse better. And now I'm gonna drop it down to a 10% duty cycle. From here on out, almost every time I reduce the pulse width, you can see the light getting dimmer. Three, two, one. You see a small spike as we're on only 1% of the time, but even at 1%, we can still see the lights on. And then at 0%, there's no more pulses, so the light turns off. So I'll turn the pulse back onto 1%. Warning, blinking LED. And then I'll change our frequency to once a second. So now I'm going to change our duty cycle back to 50% so that the light will be on and off an equal amount of time. And now we'll increase our frequency. So we're at two, three, now we're at four times a second. Now we're blinking 10 times a second. We'll increase it up to 20 times a second. Now we're blinking 30 times a second. I'm filming at 30 frames per second, so you can't see the light blinking, but I see it blinking. Increasing it up to about 50. So some houses are running at 50 hertz and some are running at 60 hertz. So you don't see your lights flashing typically. So this typically would look like a solid light to you. Now we have the opposite effect where it looks solid to me, but on the video, you're starting to see some blinking. And now I'll just go ahead and increase the frequency back up to the 1000 hertz. And now the light looks good both on the video and in person. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to pulse width modulation. In another video, I'll show you the code so you can do pulse width modulation in your own applications. If you have any questions or comments, please paste them below.